Good morning, it's Hiker Dude Dad, and I am at Mount Pisgah State Park up in Bradford County, Pennsylvania, way up north. We are in the, still in the orange zone of the DCNR foliage uh, map, but I would suspect this week that we'll be red. There's a lot of leaves on the ground. The colors are absolutely stunning. And I am here to continue trying to hit every state park in Pennsylvania. It is Tuesday, October 18th, and it is fall. It is a crisp, cold morning. I'm taking this two and a half mile walk to warm up. It is uh, just above freezing. It's about 35 degrees this morning. That's at least 10 degrees colder than it was uh, at home in Lancaster County. So Mount Pisgah State Park here is in the Endless Mountains. We're midway between Mansfield and Tawanda. Um, this is a 1,300 acre park, and it is along Mill Creek, which is dammed up to form Stephen Foster Lake. Um, that lake is 75 acres. Uh, you can kayak on it and everything, fish. Uh, we are walking on the O Susanna Trail, uh, which circles the lake, so we'll be seeing that soon. All right, so here's a spillway for Stephen Foster Dam and Earth Rock Dam and Stephen Foster Lake. Absolutely gorgeous today. I am fairly certain that this peak here, very colorful, is Mount Pisgah. There is also off in that direction, uh, just outside the state park borders, is a county park, Mount Pisgah County Park, in that direction. So I am assuming that that peak is Mount Pisgah. Mount Pisgah's peak is 2,267 feet above sea level. So we're already up in the mountains because the prominence here is not super huge, but I think in general we're up pretty high. All right, so walking along the spillway here, there's no way out on the dam from this side. But I think once we cross, there's a little bridge down here at the bottom. Uh, I'm thinking we can cross and, uh, and then come out on the dam a little bit here. Uh, dam is named for Stephen Foster. I'm not a big musical uh, guy, classic uh, composing or whatnot, but apparently he was a local resident and a famous composer, so. Maybe you've heard of him. This is his lake and his dam. So this is the water coming out of the dam. Not much flow over there on the spillway. Not a lot at all, so. Um, yeah, low water levels here. Risk of forest fires is very low. Saw about uh, six or seven of the Smokey the Bear signs on the way up here. So low risk of uh, forest fires. Not that I'm starting a fire now, but I am gonna camp up here. So it took me about three plus hours to make the trip here. I woke up at 4.30 this morning. <laughs> it's about, yeah, it is, uh, it is early and cold, but um, yeah, I'm gonna make a count up here. I am attempting to hit six state parks in the area today. Uh, two of them are just um, like picnic areas, uh, kind of adjacent to bigger state parks. Uh, so we're gonna bundle those up. You can probably figure that out on a map uh, to see where I'm headed, but I'm gonna try and hit, I'm gonna try and hit all of those today. Uh, if I need to come back to something in the morning, uh, we'll do that, but I am going to camp at one of the parks tonight. All right, so we just crossed down there, but we are out on the dam at this point. Oh yeah, this is 
Absolutely beautiful out here. I am so happy to have fall colors. We are still down in the green zone in Lancaster County, so definitely wanted to come up here. One of the most northern counties in Pennsylvania and kind of work my way back down today and tomorrow, but scenery was absolutely stunning driving up here with the sunrise and everything. So we've crossed a couple other trails, uh, but we've been on the O Susanna Trail, basically a lakeside trail. Uh, just trying to get a quick one in here. Um, so the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania obtained the land for this park in 1969. The dam on Stephen Foster Lake was completed in 1977, and they dedicated Mount Pisgah State Park in 1979. This area was first settled by New Englanders in the early 1800s and they cleared a lot of the forest for uh, farmland. I'm hoping to see, I don't think we'll be out towards the borders of the park, but apparently the borders of these fields um, are rowed with uh, stumps from a lot of the trees that they cleared, kind of made fences out of the, out of the cleared trees. Boardwalk section here. Really nice amenities here. I've seen at least three real restrooms. Uh, we've got boards here about raptors and snakes. There's trash, recycling, swings. There's a playground on the other side where I parked. A lot of picnic tables. For being way up here in northern, kind of central Pennsylvania, um, I think this park, I mean, there's tons of parking. So I'm feeling that this gets really busy. Uh, I saw three women and a dog here, but, you know, it's Tuesday. That's how I do things. Um, but I do think it gets fairly busy. Uh, just based on the amount of amenities and, and parking and everything else. So, uh, pretty awesome place. Lake is absolutely beautiful. cloudy and windy. There's definitely a chance of precipitation today. I'm keeping an eye on that. Um, I realized that I didn't have a real breakfast today, so I'm just going to eat some cereal here with this great view uh, and then head to Hills Creek State Park, uh, which on the map looked a lot closer. It's about 45 minutes away, but uh, we'll move on to that. If you like what we're doing, please like, subscribe, please ring the bell and we'll do more of these. Thanks a lot, and we'll see you next time.